This morning, leaders in Colorado are calling for tighter drug laws. This is after an eight month long investigation into drugs being trafficked over borders ended with the indictment of 19 members of one of the most notorious Mexican cartels right here in Colorado. Nine News reporter Eddie Randall live at the Centennial DEA office. And Eddie, this was a massive operation done by the Sinaloa cartel, the same formerly led by El Chapo. Well, that's right, Natasha, and on Wednesday, we were able to comb through that 33 page indictment detailing the drug trafficking organization. So we know 19 people were listed in the indictment and authorities tell us 11 were taken into custody. We also learned that this investigation has been eight months long, going back to April. The DEA tells Nine News it seized more than 110,000 counterfeit pills laced with fentanyl. And officials say, according to lab results, on average, two out of every five pills seized were laced with with enough fentanyl to be lethal, meaning about 40,000 deadly doses were kept off of the streets. The DEA also seized multiple kilos of meth and cocaine, pounds of heroin, dozens of guns, including hand grenades, and about $500,000. Investigators calling this a major operation, noting Colorado overdoses are up more than 40%, and Denver Department of Public Health says overdoses have increased in Denver in the past two years. Investigators also urging parents to talk to their kids and keep a close eye on what they do because of how these drugs are being moved around. But that these counterfeit uh, pills are being trafficked on social media websites, TikTok, Snapchat. And so what I'd like to say is that, you know, for parents listening, families listening, is that you should have this message with, with your loved one, with your kids. At the age that they can start going online and messing around on these social media applications, that's when the conversation in terms of the dangers of these drugs should be had. The Rocky Mountain high intensity drug trafficking area and multiple law enforcement agencies all assisted in this investigation and the district attorney's office said the defendants are going to be prosecuted in Douglas County. Live in Centennial, I'm Eddie Randall. Back to you. All right, Eddie, thank you so much. And to give you an idea of the drug related issues, let's break down some numbers. This year, the DEA says overdose deaths are up more than 40% and according to the Department of Public Health, more than 1400 Coloradans died of a drug overdose in 2020, a 38% increase from 2019 and in 2020 overdoses involving fentanyl made up about 68% of all prescriptions opioid deaths. The increase in overdose deaths is actually a national trend. The CDC says for the first time the U.S. surpassed 100,000 overdose deaths in a 12 month period this year. If you you or someone you know needs help with recovery, you can open up our 9 News app to find treatment options near you. That is such a troubling story.